Next news is out of Syria. ISIS has a plan to bust out 70,000 supporters from Kurdish jails now that the U.S. has abandoned the area to the Turkish military. So, yeah, everyone knows what's been going on um, lately between Turkish, U.S., the Kurdish. Um, Turkey is invading northeastern Syria. Um, and the, the problem is that we've had, obviously, tens of thousands of ISIS uh, members being held in prisons there, in camps, um, which there were a lot of issues with that as well. I'm not sure if we need to get into it during this or not. But um, so the U.S. Wednesday night moved a lot of high profile people out of those jails into jail or under indisclosed locations outside of outside of Syria. Um, but ISIS is watching closely because they're going to want to know when they can come in and you know get their people out. So that's uh, that's where we're at right now. Yeah, and also, but Turkey is also. I know, I know, Turkey cannot be trusted, obviously, uh, but they're also promising that they don't. They're not going to let any of these ISIS members to get away, right? By the way, how do we know that that ISIS has planned this? Did ISIS officially announce this? Well, here's here, this is actually a part of the news. Is a lot of the people, uh, a lot of ISIS fighters there, um, are are actually treating the prisons like their home, and they're actually running. Um, escapes and and they're attacking the guards and uh they're plotting right there in their jail cells so um okay. how they're getting information in and out of these prisons i don't know hmm. um but clearly it's be very hard been... to keep and here's the thing I, I know this might a lot of people might not want to hear this because most of the attitudes is pro kurdish people but let's just be let's be pretty clear here again i'm not taking a position against or for the courts because the courts are many people and you can't take an entire position against an entire group of people but there is some motivations among the courts to let these isis people loose as punishment for the betrayal right there is some motivation there as well for the courts to let isis members loose to show that turkey was not because before turkey manages to get a hold of these ISIS people, obviously the Kurds have control over them right now, and before Kur the Turkey managed to step in and t make sure that they don't get free, the Kurds will be in a position to let some of them go, right? So they might be motivated in doing that. Well, yeah, here's here's the deal, is I do, um, I will take a stand and say I do stand with the Kurds. They are U.S. allies. Um, they have fought beside us in, in war before. Um, and I think that what's happening, what what we did, uh, is outrageous. And so that's just the position that I absolutely will take on that. Mm -hmm. I understand that people are people. Um, there are going to be some good people and some bad people in every group. Same as America. Okay, but that's not how you treat your allies. So yeah, no, I, um, I, I agree that that was a bad policy decision. But that doesn't mean that Kurds have terrorist groups in them. The Kurds. Absolutely. So right. does America. We have terrorist groups here. I mean, everyone yeah, has terrorist groups. But yeah, I know. But I'm just saying, like, we cannot. Say, we cannot. I mean, I think that again, when you're talking about the Kurds, which group are you talking about? Are we talking about the PKK, the YPG? Are we talking about the Kurds in uh, northern Syria, or or there are Kurds that are not affiliated with any groups? Are communists over there? Are many communist Kurds over there. There, there are Kurds in, um, in in Iraq. There are many groups, different groups of Kurds in Iraq. There are many different Kurds uh, in Iran. Many different groups that they don't even agree with each other. There are Kurds attacking other Kurds because of the disagreements with each other. So, in, in some, I don't agree with the position like, oh, I support the Kurds. Well, the Kurds don't support the Kurds. There are Kurds that are attacking other Kurds as well, right? So I don't right. Like, we're, we're we're clearly talking about these fighters. Right. Okay. So even even these fighters like the. You know the northern. You're talking about northern Syria, of course, right? So when you refer to them, the Kurds, some Kurds in northern Syria might take issue with that. They're like, I'm, I. You're talking about the YPG, but then we're we're exchanging YPG and northern Korea, northern Syrian Kurds interchangeably, and some northern Korea, Syrian Kurds may be like, well, I'm not associated with YPG. A lot of them are. A lot of them support them, but a lot of them don't. So I'm just saying, like, we can't be like. We support the Kurds. We, maybe you support the YPG. Is that what you're saying? Like, or something like that? Sure. If, yeah. if anyone, you know, if mm. any 
Kurd that associates as a Kurd and doesn't understand who America's talking about when we say we support the Kurds, mm. they can talk mad about it, I guess. Um, okay. <laughs> obviously, it's obvious who it is we're talking about. Right. Uh, and and I, I do see your point. I do. It's just mm. I'm, I don't want to sit here and take a, I don't know. Right. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, but but I'm just I'm just pointing out some some things that we might be worried about. But by the way, Turkey will take full advantage of that if the Kurds. By the way, here's here's going to be the hypocrisy of the Turks. If there's some, if there are a few Kurds that do decide to, as revenge, let some ISIS members out as a way to to show, like, look, Turkey has messed up. Look what Turkey has done. Turkey has came and invading here, and now ISIS is loose because of Turkey. Turkey will jump on that and be like, "Look, this is what the Kurds are doing. They're letting ISIS go, and this is why the, we. This is why the Kurds are bad, right?" And they won't say Kurds; they will say the YPG. Um, um, but but it's hip, it would be hypocritical of them because the Turks have done the same thing, right? With terrorist groups, they have let terrorist group loose as a way, as a strategic method, and. Recently, Erdogan himself openly announced that he's going to let refugees flood Europe as a revenge for the positions that Europe t is taking against this attack. If they don't mind, their, if they don't mind their own business, and this has been the most. He said that openly. I was like, oh, this was supposed to be the secret part. And now you're publicly announcing it. So they're not ashamed to publicly make it make a strategical move like that themselves. But they will go out and be hypocritical if, even if a small fractions of the Kurds decided to sh sh do something like that, like letting ISIS members out, they will make that as if the, all the Kurd, all the YPG has done that, and they will call it out, even though they do the same thing. Yeah. So, yeah, so let me just see the top comments say Jeremy is saying so when a president keeps his campaign promises it's bad. Um, first of all, it's very interesting because there's not this article didn't say anything about the president's campaign promises or whether the Trump decision was good. See, this is a this is how sensitive Trump this is how snowflakey and trigger how fast uh, Trump supporters uh, get triggered, right? Even there's no mention of Trump in the article. Even if it doesn't mention anything with, whether a Trump decision was good or bad, even if it's just reporting facts, if it's just about the news that some ISIS people have, like you know, are planning on getting out if this happens, you just report facts and they see it as an attack, right? Honestly, I think that the Trump supporters are getting more triggered than most Muslims that come out and attack us on this show. That's how, that's how fast, like, oh, some, again, I'm almost, I'm not generalizing, I'm saying some, some Trump supporters are extremely sensitive. They see an attack on their God Emperor Trump in almost <laughs> every headline. This is, has turned into a cult. Um, did you guys want to add anything? No. Uh, yeah, uh, well, about, uh, I mean, you were asking about how they got the information. Uh, it's from a former ISIS fighter uh, who is now fighting for a non-jihadist rebel group there. He told the insider about this information. And also the information, they're sharing the information in and out of the prison through Telegram and WhatsApp. Oh, and you know why it is Telegram and WhatsApp? Not like other apps? Uh, and because these well, are because they're n hmm. very less security, I guess. No, because they're encrypted. Oh, yeah. Telegram and WhatsApp are encrypted, so you can't trace yeah, the source. True. That's why they use those. That's why they're not using Facebook Messenger. But that's very interesting. Thank you. Thank you so much for adding that, Shabam. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. 
انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.